right. I think uh I'll switch over to the live screen and see my little Pichu not facing the screen. There he goes. Still not facing forward. Hold up. I gotta collaborate with Pichu real quick. There we go. Pichu should be collaborated or calibrated. Anyways, guys, um, anybody who's hanging out in chat, feel free to use the chat. Chat with us. We got our lovely new green team monster. They're not technically new. They've come and gone, come and gone. They did the the original rehabs had green tea, orange aid, grape aid. Uh, I want to say pink lemonade and regular lemonade. And uh, they eventually discontinued this one, the grape aid. And over time, eventually the Orange Aid. But they brought these back as like these dragon rehabs, which had like dragon symbols. And it was supposed to be like green tea and white tea and then like some kind of other tea. And they were okay, but the green tea definitely didn't taste like the old rehab green tea. And now they brought back the original rehab green tea. And I'm super stoked. These things are delicious. So. Enjoy me a nice sip of that. And today, we're going to be opening up four of these bad boys. I have one in the background, but here's one. I'm going to kind of tilt the camera so you guys can see a little bit of a better view of that. Uh, Absolutely stunning. Really cool box. I know this isn't going to be a box for everybody, but it is a box for me. And I am excited to open up four of these today. Um, We're not going to be opening up these in like... Like, quick fashion, I'm going to take my time, I'm going to enjoy the opening, and we're going to look at everything that comes in the box. Hopefully we get some nice little promos to add to the collection. Uh, some of these promos may be given away if there's anybody in chat today. Uh, I know my streaming is so inconsistent, I probably should have planned a time to stream. So, let's go ahead and get this first box open. Get our stuff out of the way. By the way, I hope everybody is having a wonderful Wednesday afternoon. Um, today was star testing for my students. So it is definitely an exciting day to be able to just come home and rip some trading cards. So here's the Armor Rouge EX Full Art Promo. This is promo number, looks like 125. Really cool card. Absolutely stunning. So I'm happy with that. Pretty cool uh, promo card. Really, really happy with that one. And then you get, ooh, that's got a nice swirl. I know you guys can kind of see that swirl action right there. Charcadet. This is uh, Charcadet from Paradox Rift. Not my favorite of the Charcadet cards because there are some really cool Charcadet cards. But still a cool card nonetheless. And then last but not least, the least exciting card out of all of them, it is the Sarah Ledge. The only reason why I say that, although Sarah Ledge has got a nice, beautiful swirl right behind his head. only reason I say that is because I believe the Pokemon Day promo also had this same foiling. So it's like, it's not something exclusive. It would have been nice if this could have been like an exclusive card. You know what I mean? But those are your three promos that you get in the box. Really cool promo cards. Absolutely stunning. Uh, so I will go ahead and put those to the side. You also get a really cool looking fire holder. Uh, this is really cool. This is like what came in the Charizard uh, holder. So essentially you take apart and it sits in like this. And you put your favorite Pokemon cards in it. Really cool. I will probably keep these so I can start displaying some of my favorite fire type Pokemon. Uh, so that is exciting. You also get sleeves. So, quick shout out to Pokemon Company for sleeves. They are now returning back to the old school style of sleeves. They are no longer those really foggy looking matte sleeves that are really hard to put cards into. The sleeve design could have been a little bit better. The Sarah Ledge and the Armor Rouge on the uh, artwork looks great. But, let's be real, Pokemon has created better sleeves in the past. So, this is definitely more on the mid-level. But, I don't think they're poorly designed. I just think we've had better design sleeves over time. But packs of sleeves are great. I will probably keep one for myself. And the rest will probably go on the eBay store for anybody interested. 
And then lastly, you get six packs. So here's the thing about premium collections, guys. Is premium collections back in the day were $39.99, and you get eight packs, uh, three promo cards, and usually a jumbo card. You didn't get sleeves. You didn't get the little deck holder. So to me, I don't know if $39.99 is worth it for six packs if you're looking just to rip packs. But if you're looking for the holder, for the sleeves, and all the extra stuff, it's kind of worth it. I will also say the pack selection could have been better. I'm not really excited to open up a City in Flames. Temple Forces is great. Paradox Ripped, I'm still looking for stuff, including Iron Valiant, alternate art. So I think what we'll do is we'll put up City in Flames before the other packs and just kind of open them like that, okay? So... We're going to go into our first pack of Obsidian Flames with the beautiful Charizard artwork. This is a pretty cool looking design in my opinion. I love Charizard, but I think we've had enough Charizards in the past. So let's see what we can get in this first pack. The energy is going to be electric energy. I actually don't think there's a lightning type in here that's a chase. I might be wrong, but let's see. We got Lampent. That beautiful Togepi. Love the color of like the flowers in the background. And Togepi just being a happy little card. Lechonk. Always looking like a cool, happy Pokemon. You got Crabomitable. King Gambit. I gotta say, this artwork has always been stunning to me. I love looking at this card every time. Kind of wish this was a card that was a foil. But still a beautiful card nonetheless. Point Cologne. Surskit, Scovillain, and Toxtricity. So, unfortunately, our first pack was a miss. We did get a couple of nice reverses there, as well as a beautiful uh, Hollow Rare Toxtricity. For our bulk, unfortunately, there was nothing too great out of there. The King Gambit does look great, but no playable trainers, nothing of that sort. So, I will put that over there to the bulk stack. Now we're going to move on to Temporal Forces and see what our first pack of Temporal Forces can give. Last time I opened up Temporal Forces, I was opening up Build and Battle Kits. And Temporal Forces did me some justice. I got a lot of cool cards. Another Lightning Energy, so maybe a Raging Bolt. Uh, but I will say that I did feel like there was much better cards I could be hitting. Prime Catcher is one of the best A specs in the game. There's also a lot of great alternate art, so any of those would be nice to pull today. We got Sizzlepeed, Carcoal, and Fluttermane Hollow. I believe this card's actually playable in some way. Maybe because of its ability. Yeah, like your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities when you have yours in the active spot. So maybe that's why, but... As for our cards, the shift tree is pretty cool, but none of the bulk really stand out as, like, worth it. But now we're going to move on to Paradox Rift. See what Paradox Rift has for us. Let's see if Paradox Rift can be our first hit of the opening. Another Lightning Energy. Interesting. Three Lightning so far. By the way, guys, if you're hanging out in chat, feel free to use the chat to chat with me while I open up these boxes. I uh, would love the company. Magby, Vanillite, Orcorio, Norman, Cyclazar, Toadscrew, Palkia. Okay, that's a pretty cool reverse. Really cool looking Palkia. Come on. Oh, Norman reverse. That is fine. Maybe we can get a full art trainer. Nope. Only just a Kingdra. And one of the weaker Kingdra arts. Uh, that's only because Akira Agawa is my favorite TCG artist. And uh, she's made a King, uh, Kingdra art. So, unfortunately, there's no uh, real contender there. Now, for our favorite bulk card, definitely going to go out to the Magby. I absolutely, I absolutely love this artwork. I think this is an adorable card. I'm happy to see babies return to the TCG. So first three packs, unfortunately, nothing but hollow rares and a couple of reverses. And even then, I don't think we had any noteworthy reverses. Maybe that Palkia being the top reverse. Um, but for the most part, not the best box. So instead, we're going to go ahead and move on to Obsidian uh, Flames pack number two. This time with another Charizard on the cover. 
Let's see if we still got lightning energies. Nope, it is a fighting energy. So let's see if this one pack has a fighting chance to give us something good. We got Toga tomorrow. Grievard. Dragonair. Armor Rouge. Amoongus. Diglett. Come on. Floatzel. So unfortunately, no SIR or IR. And Claydol for a hollow. So unfortunately, nothing there. As for favorite bulk, 100% hands down, Dragonair. Stunning card. Beautiful card. All right. So four packs in. Nothing but a bust. Let's see if this was a, a wasted $25 purchase. By going into our next pack, which ironically is another fighting energy. So it looks like we're just getting duplicate energies left and right. But let's see if we can get anything good. I love that lick of tongue. <coughs> Salvatore. All right. We do. We got to say it. There's no shame in love and Pokemon. Ooh, Zara Aura. This is a beautiful artwork. I don't think I need the Traverse, but it is a cool card nonetheless. And Iron Valiant. So... Unfortunately, Temporal Forces did not do us any favors. Uh, best bolt card is 100% going to Lickitung. Really cool Pokemon. But unfortunately, we're only getting bulk. Can we get something good in this last Paradox Rift Pack? Don't worry, guys. We're still going to open up three boxes out of this. Now, I do want to point this out. Look at this. Three fighting, three electric for the energies. So, hopefully this box has a fighting chance. Give us something good. Ooh, there goes that Wiglet. Gligar. Cloth. Luxurious Cape. Cyclozar. Gliscor. Come on. Foy Coco. Gotta give it to it, though. That is one of my favorite Foy Coco arts. And Galissapod. Womp, womp. So, first box is definitely a strikeout. <laughs> favorite bulk. 100% going to Wiglet. I love this card. Something about it is just so awesome. Love the artwork. Now, favorite hit overall, if I'm not counting the promo, going to be Foy Coco. Um, definitely didn't have any hits to go with. But that is just the unfortunate way the cookie crumbles. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go into box number two. I'm going to do a quick rip on this one to get it open. All right, so we're going to start off first by removing all the ancillary items, like the card holder, once again, put the card holder to the side. Still debating of what I want to do with those. Uh, sleeves will go on my eBay store, but there's another look at those awesome sleeves if you're interested. And I'm going to go ahead and get out the packs. I'm going to go ahead and take out the promos as well to see if uh, any of the promo cards have beautiful swirls. Our first uh, set of promo cards did end up having swirls. So we're going to hope that our second set did as well. So there's your Armor Rouge. Stunning card, by the way. Really cool looking artwork. Charcadet. Unfortunate. No, never mind. There's one swirl right there next to his uh, face. And Sarah Ledge. Unfortunately, I do not see a swirl on this card. So, fortunately, Sarah Ledge is going to let us down. Um, but, nonetheless, we're going to go into six packs. I think we'll go in reverse order this time. We'll put Obsidian Flames last and see if we can get something strong out of Temporal Forces first. I know Temporal Forces right now, guys, is going pretty wild because there's a lot of cards in Temporal Forces that are just really receiving a lot of hype. And maybe this is a sign that this box is going to be fire. Now, hopefully that fire isn't just because we have an Armor Rouge. Love that Raichu. Love the Victini. So, so far, the bulk cards in here, a little bit more enjoyable. Some beautiful artworks. Boxed order. Okay. 
Meta Jam. Come on, something good. Hey, our first hit of the opening is a chat tote. Now, I forgot what song somebody said was here, but apparently chat tote, you see how he's on these lines? It's actually supposed to represent, uh, represent a music. Like, I think it's supposed to be like the Pokemon Center theme, maybe. It's supposed to represent something. And then we got Dun Dun Sparse. So you know what? Let's go ahead and put a sleeve on the chat tote. Because, how do we say it? If you like it, then you should put a sleeve on it. All right, so let's go ahead and put a penny sleeve on the chat tote and put chat tote right here in the middle. As for best bolt kit, I think I'm actually going to give it to Victini as much as I like the Raichu because the Raichu is nice. I think this Victini is just adorable. This is coming from a guy who never really had a strong like or dislike towards Victini. All right. So that pack did indeed tell us it was fire. Now let's go on to Paradox Rift and see if we can get something good out of here. Paradox Rift. Really fun set to open. But. I have not hit anything since I last opened Paradox Rift in bulk. I bought ADTBs, hit three SIRs. And ever since then I have not hit anything good. I will say that Tatsugiri is a great card though. All right, we have Pharaoh Seed. Come on. Ooh, we got something good. We got something good. Let's go ahead and reveal the Garganacle. We got an SIR, oh, not an SIR, but an IR of some sort. It is going to be a Dark type. So, hey, the energy match what we were about to pull. Let's see what it is. Oh, Brute Bonnet. Hey, that's pretty cool. It is done by Tomokazu Kamiya, one of my favorite artists, so I am excited for this. Um, I don't know where this is on, like, the totem of, like, valuable, because I don't really pay attention to the values of, like, modern sets like that. So, like, the smaller cards, such as the IRs, I don't know values. I just know if I like the card because it's cool as shit or not. <coughs> and in this case, Brute Bonnet, once again... Because of the artwork, cool as shit. Now for favorite uh, bolt card, 100% going to Tatsugiri. I love the design of that card. So, so far, we're two for two in this box. Making up for the last box being kind of a dud. Hopefully, we can hit something big in our next few packs. Another fire energy. Maybe that's a sign with the fire in the dark that we're going to hit a Charizard. That would be awesome. I know it sounds weird to say, but I would love to hit that gold Charizard. That would be awesome. We got Rhyme. Okay, no problem. Glimet. And Claydol. Unfortunately, nothing out of that pack. Now, it looks like best bulk card. Ooh, I'm just going to give it to Togetic. I don't think there is one that is going to be best bulk. So let's just go ahead and give that one to Togetic. All right, back to Temporal Forces. Let's see what we can get out of Temporal Forces. It is another Fire Energy. So three Fire Energies out of four packs. Come on, give us a Fire Pool. Then, ooh, that Electabuzz is badass. Look at that artwork. <whistles> Giraffe Rig, Iron Valiant. One of my favorite cards from the set in terms of design. Sandy Shocks, not a bad card from Dom. Reuniclus. There's Shroomish. All right, we got Shroomish. Let's see if we can get anything behind the lovely Shroomish. Unfortunately, it's just a Haunter. Cool Haunter. I love the spotlight being on him, and you can see the shadow. But I, I am a little curious. Haunter is a ghost. Why is there a shadow behind a ghost? Make it make sense, Pokemon. Make it make sense. And Mel Metal. So, nothing good out of there. I think for bulk, it's 100% going to Iron Valiant. Really cool card. Uh, but nothing great out of that pack. Man, Temporal Force is doing me dirty today. Paradox Rift, though. You know what? Uh, I, I lied. 
Temporal forces still give us that chateau, so I'll take it. Darkness energy. What is the deal with these matching energies? We had lightning and uh and fighting in the first box, and now we're having fire and darkness. I wonder if something will change between now and the last pack. Your mask. Come on, your mask. Give us some good luck. Unfortunately, it's just a hone edge. Really cool artwork for Hone Edge, though. And, ooh, we got at least a double rare. What double rares are in the set that could be good? This is Paradox. So you got Roaring Moon. You got Iron Valiant. You got uh, Golden Go. I think those are the only good ones. So let's see what we got. Bombardier. Okay. Unfortunately, not a card that I was really hoping to see today. Definitely not the best double rare to hit. But you know what? That is the third hit out of the box. And for favorite bulk, I'm just going to give it to not to. Shout out to Leonhart. Uh, there was no real exceptional bulk in there. Now, last pack on the box number two. Obsidian Flames. Let's see if Obsidian Flames can give us the luck. By the way, guys, if you're in the chat, say hi. Come by and visit. It is a grass energy, so it finally changed up. We finally got a unique energy out of the first 12 packs. Let's see if we can end off. Ooh. Love this common. Let's see if we can end off with a bang. Let's see if we can get something good. Something textured. Love something textured. Even if it's just a cheap 50 cent full art trainer. Another beautiful artwork of that King Gambit. We got Bunnelby. Bunnelby. Heatmore. So, unfortunately, nothing in the SIR IR slot. And Entei. I will say this is at least a badass hollow artwork. Entei's always got cool artworks. But definitely not what I was hoping for. For best bulk card, though, that's 100% going to Cleffa. Adorable. Absolutely stunning. I love Cleffa as a Pokemon. Once again, going back to the Magby that we seen earlier, I just love the idea of baby Pokemon being back. Uh, really love baby Pokemon, and I think they're fun. All right, next box. Let's see if we can get something groovy. So, we're 12 packs in. We pulled three hits. With the hits not really being that great. But I do think that our uh, Brew Bond and Chateau kind of make up for the first uh, box having no hits. Because at least we got two IRs. But I'm hoping in these next two boxes we get something textury. Something shiny. Something beautiful. Would love to see that gold Charizard for personal collection purposes. Would love to see any SIR. It doesn't even matter if it's a bad one. Let's go ahead and get these promos right here. Let's go ahead and move the ancillary products out and about. Move them out of the way. And then let's go ahead and get our six packs from this box. This time, I think I'm going to just do this. I'm going to mix them around a little bit. And just let them kind of open up in random order. And based on that. Alright, so let's look at these promos. See if we ooh, we got another swirl. That one's actually really noticeable. It's probably the best swirl we've seen so far because it's full on swirl. Very nice. Got another armor promo. I gotta say, I haven't looked at the condition of the back of these, but these cards are pretty well centered for the promos. And then we got a Sarah Ledge who also has a swirl, not as strong of a swirl, but it's noticeable. Pretty much in the same spot as that Charcadet. So five out of six of our promos have had swirls. I love that. Anyways, our pack order is going to be Obsidian, Temporal, Paradox, Obsidian, Paradox, Temporal. So, a little bit of a mix-up there with the uh, Temporal and the Paradox. And it looks like Obsidian is going to be first. This is another Charizard artwork. Hopefully that's an indicator. Another Leaf Energy. So, continuing the streak of Leaf Energies. We got Bonsley, Temple, Surskit. Hey, Dark Slayer, how's it going, my friend? How are you doing today? Got a beautiful Lycanroc done by Arita himself. Really stunning card. Probably my favorite like Lycanroc artwork that I remember getting in quite a while. We got Probopass done by Takuya. Only Takuya can make me like a Probopass card. Vol Corona. So not a bad card at all. Oh, we're going to have something good. Oh, man. We got a double banger. Hold on. We got a double banger, guys. Dark Slayer, you're in chat. We got a double banger. We got a double banger, my friend. You ready? Ready for that double banger? 
Ready for that double banger? You know why I'm keep I'm all hyped about this double banger? Because I hit one of my chases. We're gonna start off first by looking at Reverum EX, followed by Tyranitar Full Art. Look at that double banger, baby. Look at that. Woo-wee. That is awesome. I am so ecstatic about this. I am so ecstatic about that. This is a chase. I'm happy to get an SIR. Unfortunately, it is a duplicate. This is an SIR I already own. Still a cool card nonetheless. But this, this is awesome. It's a chase of mine. I am so excited. It is 100% going in the binder. Unless it's a gradable card. <laughs> but... But yes. So let's go ahead and sleep both of those up. Double banger. By the way, best artwork, best card goes to this for bulk. Before we move on though, I just wanna I just wanna look at this Tyranitar. I really wanted this card. I wanted to pull it. I love pulling the cards that go into my collection. That is stunning. Look at that, guys. Oh man. That is really cool. As for Reverim, cool card. Definitely a great artwork. Not a card I really care to pull because I already own one. Like, I'm not upset that I pulled it. I just would have preferred something besides that or Butterfree. I mean, not Butterfree or Pidgeot because I own both of those. But you know what? That's fine. We got a double banger and I pulled one of my chases. So I'm happy with that. Now, with that being said, Let's go into our next pack, which is a Fighting Energy. This is Temporal Forces. So let's see if Temporal Forces can give us a good hit. Ooh, I love that Toto Dial. Perilous Jungle. Pretty cool card. Un Pheasant. Sense of Scorch. Iron Hands. I love the Reverse Hollows on these because I love the, this like mirror foil that they have. Arbok. Okay. And Karidon. So nothing good out of that pack. As for best bolt card, 100% going to Toto Dial. Really cool artwork. All right, let's go to Paradox again. Let's see what Paradox Rift has for us. All right, Paradox Rift. Another fighting energy. So a lot of fighting energies today. Come on, Paradox Rift. Ooh, Fway Coco. Nice. Let's get that... Uh. What is it that we're going to get today? For Paradox Rift, let's get that Steelix. Let's get Steelix. Come on. Unfortunately, it's just Oracorio, so no Steelix. And unfortunately, Groudon. So, best bolt card. Probably, I don't really have one for this one. Maybe just Fue Coco, because I love that artwork. So... Let's move on back to Obsidian Flames. This is a Dragonite artwork. I don't think we've seen a Dragonite artwork. I think we've seen a lot of Charizards today. So let's see if Dragonite gives us good luck. Grass Energy. Ooh, got Chunky Cheeks. Anybody a Chunky Cheeks fan? Anybody love the Chunky Cheeks? What about a Wiglet fan? What about a Barboach fan? What about late? Ooh, actually, I got to give a shout out to this LeChonk. Favorite artwork of LeChonk. That's not the IR. Tomokazu Kamiya. Amazing artist. Get Altaria. This is like my favorite comments from this set. And all in one pack. Get Crab Brawler. This is Obsidian Flames. Can we get another big hit? Let's see. Unfortunately, it's just Patrol Cap. But you know what? We can still get a full art. We can still get a full art trainer. Unfortunately, it's just Entei. I say, unfortunately, it's just Entei, but I actually really like that Entei card. I think best card is definitely got to go to LeChonk for the bulk, though. Tomo, uh, Tomokazu Kamiya. Really cool artist. All right. Two packs left. Paradox Rift. Let's see if I can get something good out of here. Come on, Paradox. Give me a SIR. Give me Iron Valiant. I'm really chasing that. Psychic Energy. That's new. And Iron Valiant Psychic. Maybe, just maybe, I will get my Iron Valiant. That would be nice. Oregon, Future Booster Energy Capsule. 
Cream Tail, Iron Bundle, Little, okay, it's Little, Mill Tank, okay, so unfortunately no SIR, and unfortunately it's just a Thievul who robbed my hit and ran away with it, get it, because he robs and runs, as for our best common hit in this pack, it's 100% Scream Tail, I absolutely adore this Pokemon, even though I played Violet, somehow I fell in love with Scream Tail as a Pokemon. Alright, so last pack out of this box. We hit the double banger at the beginning, very first pack. We have yet to hit anything, so maybe Temporal Forces can change that. We got the Iron Crown on the cover, so let's see. Let's see if we can get something good. It's a Fire Energy. So we got Giraffe Rig, Roselia, Cutie Fly, Drillbur, Shaman. Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking, Vicavolt, Pineco, so no Ace spec, unfortunately. Great Tusk, I actually believe this is the good Great Tusk, so this might actually be at least a decent Reverse Hollow. Very nice. And Whimsicott. Womp womp. I say womp womp, but I actually think this box was pretty good. Real quick though, my favorite bulk card from this lot is definitely going to be the Drill Bear. I just love the adorable happy boy. A little bit of a too happy boy. But when it comes to this uh, box, I got to say the box was great overall. Could have been better if I wouldn't have gotten a duplicate SIR and just something different. There was Gita, Poppy, uh, Zard, obviously. Just so many different ones I could have gotten instead of River Room. But because I pulled the T-Tar and I actually pulled it, I'm happy with that box. So, so far we're three boxes in. So that's 18 packs in. And these are the packs. So we're five out of 18. So roughly one in three packs gives us a hit. Um, and I think our hits have been pretty solid. We got an SIR, two IRs, and a full art. So here's hoping that this last box can give us the goo. I do have to get one of these boxes out because uh, one of my longtime customers bought two of these boxes from me. The one you see in the background and one remaining in the case. And then for them, I'm opening for myself because why not? Just to have a little bit of fun. Short opening. I'm not opening up a lot today. These are going to be the last six packs of the stream. So, Dark Slayer, I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Uh, anybody else who has stopped by and hung out, I appreciate you. Even if you were just lurking, I appreciate the lurks. I see that we got a couple of viewers in, not just uh, Dark Slayer. So, anybody who's hanging out, lurking, thank you so much for being supportive of the stream. Now, when it comes to this card, 100% got a swirl on the top left. No swirl on the Charcadet. I mean, there's kind of like a minor one here, but it's not really a swirl. It just looks like a circular fit. Oh, no. There is a swirl. Look at that flame. It kind of crosses over into the rock that's not foilized. But if you look closely, that flame has a swirl in it. So, not the best swirl that we could have gotten, but still a swirl nonetheless. So, 7 out of 8. Pretty nice uh, ratios on swirls. I think for this part, I think I'm going to just do it in order of most exciting to least exciting to open. Or, I mean, least exciting to most exciting to open. So that way we end on the most exciting packs. So we're going to start off with Obsidian Flames. And I say that as Obsidian Flames has given us our best hit so far. But, once again, Obsidian Flames, I opened up a lot of it before. I pulled most of the big hits. So I don't need a lot of Obsidian Flames cards. <coughs> really cute oddish mad his own badass artwork crab abominable mawile from so so this is probably going to be best card in the bulk stack for this uh pack oh i will take that cleffa i actually don't have this card in my private collection so i am super happy to pull this
Really beautiful card. Look at that artwork. Stunning. All right, so let's go ahead and put that Cleffa back here. So I got to say, by the way, So-So's Mall Wall, 100% the best bulk. But I got to say, Obsidian Flames, as much as I said I didn't really want to open this today, it has given me the best pool so far. Really, really stunning Obsidian Flames opening. Let's see if the last pack of Obsidian Flames can give us one last big hit. By the way, this Gloom actually has a pretty cool artwork. My focus is being weird on my camera, but that's a really good artwork on Gloom. Flamigo. Okay. Ooh, we got the Tomokazu Kamiya Lechonk as a reverse. That's a pretty good reverse. Followed by Tynamo. Followed by Palafin. Okay, so Obsidian Flames ended on a weak note. Gonna give best card for this pack to Gloom. Just a shout out to that artist. Not an artist I'm familiar with, but still a great artist nonetheless. Alright, so let's move on to these last two Paradox Rift packs. Let's see if we can get something good. It is going to be a Fire Energy, so maybe this is a Fire Pack. Got a Swablu. Nikit. Fancier. Gligar. Slitherwing. Technical Machine Devolution. Exploud. Dotler. Okay. Foy Coco. So another reverse of that beautiful Foy Coco. And Chien Pao. Really cool Pokemon. So I'm not going to complain about that. Best card in this pack. I'm just going to give it the Slitherwing. Most dynamic of artwork out of all those cards. Alright. Last Paradox Rift pack of this opening. Let's see if I can get something good out of Paradox Rift today. I don't think Paradox Rift has given me a hit besides Bombardier. Oh, it gave me Brute Bonnet too. So at least we got an IR from this set. Curse Duster. Or a Beetle. Mianfu. Okay. Mianfu is pretty cool. Norman. Unfortunate. Paradox Rift looks like it's going to end on a bust, and it did with the low kicks. So, I don't think I really have a favorite out of here. I'm just going to give it to Charcadet to fit the theme of today's opening with the Armor Rouge boxes. Alright. Temporal Forces, last two packs. They're both Walking Wake packs. Maybe that's a sign that we'll pull Walking Wake SIR, which would be really cool. I would love to pull anything from Temporal Forces in these last two packs. Even if it's not a big hit, just anything. We got Azumarill, Yamper, Grubbin, Metacham, Roserade, Keldeo, Iron Jugulus, really cool artwork. Licky Licky, so there is no A spec in this pack. Can we get an SIR or an IR? Unfortunately not, it's just a car coal. Can we get a full art trainer though? Fortunately not, just a done done sparse. Best artwork is gonna go to Iron Jugulus. Alright. Last pack, guys. Can we get some LPMs in chat for that last pack magic of Temporal Forces? <coughs> Let's see if Temporal Forces can give us one last pack magic with that water energy. The energy we didn't see a lot of today. We got Turtwig. Poochiana, Wiglet, Meltan, Future Booster Energy, Great Tusk, Del Caddy. Unfortunately, no A spec in today's opening. That is unfortunate because we got the Metatite Reverse. Followed by a Shift Tree. So no IR or SIR either. Can we end with one last hit in the back? Double Rare, Full Art Trainer. Let's see. Uh, unfortunately, it's just Grandpa to Grandpa. So, unfortunately, that box only had one hit as well. So, I gotta say, we opened up 24 packs. We only got six hits. My honest opinion, if you're wanting packs, bang for your buck, avoid these boxes. But if you want to have a little bit of fun, you want to get some cool promos, maybe picking up a, a box of this from your local retailer, it's kind of worth it. 
Or maybe pick it up from your local shop and support them. Buy one, get the promos, and open up six packs and see what you pull. Because it is possible to pull some pretty cool hits out of here. Because everything we pulled, we only pulled one double rare, which is interesting. Everything else was either textured or IR. So they were pretty good hits. But overall, definitely a lackluster set of boxes. But Christie's got the last two boxes from the case. So maybe Christie pulled something great. By the way, uh, Arita's Great Tusk will be the card art for that last stack of bulk. So with that being said, guys, ah, that's all I have today. I don't have any more to uh, open. I think we got some pretty cool hits. I think we got some pretty cool cards. Really nice foils. Um, we got some pretty cool promos. Got some nice hollow promos. Um, really cool. Uh, some of these promos, after I go through and see which ones I want to keep, will be put for sale. All of these uh, cards here will be put for sale. Um, any duplicates out of here will most likely be put for sale. So, for example, Cleffa and Tyranitar will stay in my collection. Reverum, I already own one, be for sale. Brute Bonnet, I'm not sure if I own it. If I don't own it, collection. If I do own it, sell. So, I'll put it here for now. And Chat Tote. I don't own it, so it's most likely going to go to the PC. And Bombardier will be for sale because I already own a copy. And then here's some other reverses. So there's not much from this lot that are going to go for sale because I'm definitely adding a lot to the private collection, including these four right here. Really stunning cards. I'm happy to fit those. Uh, with that being said, Dark Slayer, thank you so much, my friend, for hanging out and stopping by. Um, I don't know where they're at, my friend, but I got a few cards um, that I can send your way if you want to send me your address. Uh, I can hook you up with some free cards. Uh, I think they're in the stack. Let me see. Maybe not. Maybe they are. Yeah, here you go. So, these are all cards right here that I'm also going to be adding to the personal collection. So, I'll add them to that stack. There you go, the random card. These are private things. Put those over here. So, I got this little stack right here, Dark Slayer, that I can send your way, bud. So, just DM me, and I'll get those to you within the next couple, or I'll ship those out within the next couple weeks, and I'll get them to you, okay? Uh, they've just been sitting here. I have nothing to do with them. They're, I'm not planning to list them for sale, so you're more than welcome to have them, okay? Uh, with that being said, uh, thank you so much for hanging out, guys. I will catch you guys later. Um, peace out.